Hello dear students. Well this video is um, uh, to make a demonstration how Revolve process is applied in AutoCAD for creating uh, the solid model of a Revolve feature, Revolve object. Well the first video is just to, to see how the model of a Revolve object can be created and the next video film will be about how a revolt feature can be created okay now in AutoCAD uh, in AutoCAD environment okay then let's start open AutoCAD AutoCAD mechanical you know is preferable it has some uh, additional facilities those may make the uh, life in uh, the environment studying on the things uh, relatively easier comparing with the tools of AutoCAD AutoCAD mechanical is recommended okay then well uh, <coughs> open uh, a new template for having the file to save at the end you know the way to follow recommended by me is that one clicked on new file creation button and in the dialog box template selection dialog make the template selection from light background folder uh, to have the dimensions uh, annotations and some other things uh, in accordance with the rules of ISO in ISO format uh, make the template selection on this option AM you know is to say software is AutoCAD mechanical and ISO is the acronym to say International Organization for Standardization okay select this template normally this template option is uh, selected to select is to be selected if the quadrant in which the model of the obje object uh, is uh, going to be uh, imagined as located is the first quadrant okay and associatively well uh, when we select this template option thereafter in the environment AutoCAD environment uh, for all the numbers uh, those are to be input as the coordinates of the points or uh, the size of the drawing entities uh, will be in millimeters okay clicked on open button and then well um, after having unlimited paper page uh, working area in the environment well uh, to see the the part of the environment it matches to the screen well write this command zoom okay press enter and then click on the uh, downward directed key of keyboard well it is uh, implied by the little downward directed arrow within the first compartment of uh, the train in the vicinity of the cursor you see it looks like a train we have some boxes well uh, you know if dynamic input button in uh, along the status bar is in uh, on on status uh, it has been toggled on then whenever we start a process we find in the vicinity of the cursor we find uh, such boxes looks like train uh, yes in the first compartment of uh, the uh, train can see the things to do at this stage these are going to be prompted and if within the first box there is a downward directed arrow it implies that clicking on the downward direction key of keyboard can drop the list of the options yes I clicked on the down direction key of keyboard and then from the list select all option this is to say that zoom all okay uh, set the uh, the working area 
uh, as fully matched to the display to the screen okay this is uh, recommended now here in the example uh, the profile of uh, the revolt body will be the one just formed by a circle semicircle and uh, the straight lines as an example okay drawing facilities well I'm going to draw the necessary profile in XY plane yes XY plane is just uh, matching to the working area okay but uh, since in civil engineering applications uh, the commonly used unit of measurement is not millimeter but centimeter I'm going to uh, change the unit of measurement from default value since I selected ISO template I am sure uh, the default unit of measurement is millimeter uh, from millimeter to centimeter well uh, for making such a uh, unit changing one of the way to follow is this one uh, clicked on this listing arrow just it is on the uh, say the uh, top uh, left corner uh, where we have the logo of the software red colored uh, A and after dropping the list well select uh, move the cursor on the drawing utilities option and then jump to the uh, the pane it is next to this uh, list and then find units option one of the way to follow is this one to bring the uh, dialog box thereafter to change the unit of measurement the other way click on this arrow it is along the quick access menu bar and then from the list select the second option from the end of the list it, it says show menu bar and why which after having the drop down menu bar between the quick access and tap menu bars it finds it is placed automatically uh, bring the cursor on the format option okay and then drop the list and then while well, the same option uh, can be found in this way units option and then jump to the sub dialog box and make a click on units option yes which one is convenient you may follow um, that way okay in the uh, drawing units setting dialog box drop this list and then uh, select centimeter option and then say okay yes now thereafter whatever I input as a coordinate value or as a size value uh, that number going to be interpreted by the software in centimeter okay uh, use this drawing uh, facility I selected I'm going to select from this list it is multi optional tool and uh, this tool is to uh, output a circle in the end select center diameter option well I'm going to locate the center point arbitrarily making uh, a simple click and I will move the cursor in the radial direction system asking me on the diameter of the circle in this example it is a hundred centimeters no need to write CM because program knows that it is centimeter press enter and then well uh, start line drawing process not necessary to use polyline facility because of uh, the existence of such a circle uh, well it cannot be a polyline so well at the end uh, is going to be necessary to define the profile as a region so not a matter you selected polyline for having the piece of straight lines or 
uh, single line creation tool which one you like I selected this facility and then start the line drawing I started the line drawing process and then but in this example uh, instead of using transfer lines coordinate transfer lines uh, well uh, I'm going to use tracking facility of software along the status bar this button uh, well uh, snapping reference lines track lines this is the tracking tool of the software if this is on then uh, when we start a process for instance line drawing process uh, can find a joining line can find a line in the display uh, extending from a, a characteristic point uh, to the cursor and also as further extended if the point to locate is along such a line track line then yes can easily locate the point while eliminating at this one of the coordinates for instance here I started line drawing process and my purpose is to locate the uh, the uh, terminal points of the straight line which is the line to have uh, as a part of the profile in alignment with center point and the midpoint you see I move the cursor to the vicinity of center and then moving the cursor you see between the cursor and the characteristic point it is the center of the circle uh, well a line dotted in form uh, it is passing through both of the points yes cursor and that point uh, if the purpose is to locate the first point while well, in alignment with such a characteristic point then yes make a click here I'm going to well uh, start the straight line from this midpoint so using snap facility midpoint is a characteristic point it can be indicated I can indicate it although system asking the coordinates of the starting point I don't know the coordinates but I know that the line is to start from this characteristic point with a click located and then well uh, along this track move the cursor and then uh, write the length of the line into the box it is background color is blue uh, as equal to let's say I don't know uh, 60 centimeters okay and then click on tab key take a right to write the inclination angle into the second box in the simulation you see we have two boxes into the first box I input the length of the line into the other box to take a right to input the value into the other box second box I clicked on tab key of keyboard and well in the box I know that the uh, inclination angle is uh, the parameter to input inclination angle of the line is 90 degrees relative to where relative to the simulated dotted horizontal line okay press enter now after having this uh, line vertical line then move the cursor in the uh, direction to the right and into the box write the length of the other line to have say that a hundred millim hundred centimeters click on tab key and into the angle box uh, as the inclination angle of this line right zero degrees right zero it is going to be accepted in degree press enter and then move the cursor in the down direction I see that software just ready to gather the values into the first box the length into the other box angle but say here pay, pay attention the in the simulation the arc extending uh, from the horizontal dotted line it is the reference for uh, the inclination angle uh, toward the line which is the line to be created in the clockwise direction so write the inclination angle 
uh, well as measured in the direction uh, in which the arc in the simulation extends it is in clockwise direction and the angle 90 degrees in this example but the length first write the length it is 200 centimeter click on tab key and into the uh, angle box write angle as 90 degrees okay it is going to be measured uh, as it is implied by the stutted circle arc in the clockwise direction relative to the dotted horizontal line press enter yes and then move the cursor to the left uh, to the left and write the length of the line well as uh, 100 uh, centimeters 100 tap key and the angle 180 degrees press enter and then move the cursor in the up direction and indicate the uh, other midpoint of the circle in this example okay press escape button and finish the execution and then well um, create a start line drawing process okay and then uh, create uh, one more line in this example this line is to extend from the midpoint of this vertical line to the midpoint of that horizontal line so indicate this midpoint indicate the other midpoint have such an inclined line do the same thing uh, for the other side midpoint to midpoint a line extending from midpoint to midpoint well I created such lines for having uh, the uh, region in the end these are going to be uh, after the trimming stage of course the boundary of the region okay start trimming process uh, in modify panel find the button on which uh, we have scissor symbol start the process clicking in AutoCAD it is a trick after starting trimming process don't forget to press enter key and then indicate which part is to be erased this line is to erase this one to be erased this part that part and this half of the circle yes press escape button well the area the region bounded by those lines is the profile okay to use at the following stage uh, well uh, the area bounded the, the surface bounded by those boundaries ought to be defined as a region yes if you're going to uh, indicate uh, the profile for model creation purpose yes uh, the uh, profile is to be a, a region okay for that purpose expand the drawing panel and then find at the expanded part the facility on which we have a trapezoidal figure with a circle it is just the button to click to define an area as a region uh, thereafter uh, the boundary lines will be as if uh, created using polyline facility clicked on this button and then using windowing method uh, select all select all of the boundaries if the entity to select uh, in number is more than one to few then for saving time use windowing method bring the cursor to the uh, top corner and then make a click and release the button of the mouse and then move the cursor in the diagonal direction you see it looks like window uh, a rectangle colored rectangle appeared in the screen make it large enough to take the uh, the things into the area these are the things to select 
Yes, this technique is called windowing method. After uh, having the window large enough to cover the things uh, to be selected, make the other click and then uh, finish the selection stage always pressing enter key. Yes, thereafter the area bounded by those lines going to be a region. Okay. And then the rest. Well, the domain is three-dimensional uh, domain. Uh, apply solid modeling process. Okay, to be able to see the things, uh, say, uh, in a 3D environment, click on cutted symbol or using orbit facility tilted, which one is easier for you, you may do, and then apply the process. The process here to apply, not extrusion, but revolve because uh, in this example the shape of the object is uh, a revolt body okay start the revolve process and then in revolve process well indicate the region indicate the profile and then indicate the axis of revolving in this example yes this is the region bring the cursor to the vicinity of the a boundary of the region at any point after seeing this thickness changing color changing can uh, understand that cursor is sufficiently close to the profile and it can be indicated with a click and then well uh, following stage press enter indication stage is to be ended clicking on enter key you know after uh, the region indication stage you see in the first compartment system asking where is the axis of revolving if you indicate two points along the axis about which the region is to be revolved well we can answer this question okay i'm going to indicate using snap facility this terminal point and the other terminal point of this a boundary line in this example this boundary is the axis of revolving and then yes simulation has started clicked on down well into this box in the simulation you see we have uh, angle angle of revolving uh, in this example angle of revolving is 360 full angle write it and press enter that is it created a revolved body well uh, to be able to see uh, not in wireframe form but realistically well uh, from this list select conceptual option for instance and then see orbit facility you see we created such a revolved object okay assign the material you know how uh, visualization ta uh, tab and then in materials panel make a click on materials browser to have the material selection dialog box um, from this list select the type of material say that uh, this revolt body is uh, made of uh, metal I selected which kind of metal say that brass for instance brass polished select this material option and drag the mouse toward the uh, model of the object and release the button that is it this is the procedure to assign the material you know close this dialog box and then see the color of the selected material from this uh, visualization option list select shaded option yes now it is in the color of brass okay then thank you for watching Stay healthy.